As I, Robert Kurtz, YBY expert, local enthusiast, coming to you live from your backyard. And I'd like to remind you of the power of local wellness. When you work with the local wellness professional, you'll get a better service, you'll get a better experience, and you'll help support the local community. That said, it is my pleasure today to have Maria Lando join us. And Marina is uh, the owner of Harmony Life. Uh, she's a Reiki master, a teacher, a certified aromatherapist. She's all that and a bag of chips. Marina, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Would you please tell us a little bit about Harmony Life and your practice here in the area? So uh, Harmony Life offers uh, medical Reiki. Uh, this is slightly different than general Reiki. We offer a lot of evaluation, um, post analysis, and trying to figure out actually the protocol, how to proceed with each client. You know, mm -hmm. Each client is different. It also involves a lot of meditations, aromatherapy, Marmapoin therapy, this is from Ayurveda. So this is what we do. Um, it's um, uh, a complete approach. You know? Yes, this is very integrated approach. I used to be a software designer. I have a mess in computer science, and my dad jokes that I still do the software design. But I now do software design for people, not for the hardware. And basically, what I do when we live, we experience life through the emotions. Mm -hmm. From Ayurvedic perspective, emotions are just energies. So when you accept the emotion, you just function. You don't even pay attention. But when you block the emotion, for example, you're grieving, or you're mm -hmm. anxious, or you're fearful. When you block this emotion because you want to be strong, Right. This is when you become weak because mm -hmm. your body needs these energies to react. For example, if you're fearful and you're afraid of something, you need the energy of fear to react, to evaluate the situation and to run away. Right. So when you block the emotion, you stop your body from accepting the energies, but it also affects your physical body. So, and I help to fix these blockages. It's like you downloaded the wrong application, I fix it. I download the right application. So you start functioning properly. Um, and the stress level goes down, all these things. I could use a recoding every now and again to be sure. Um, be my guess. Um, well, one of the things that we've touched on uh, throughout these weeks of being in quarantine with our wellness professionals is that one of the problems of modern Western medicine is your health professional gets seven minutes to look at a chart or to say hello, to make a determination and leave. But one of the powers of local wellness uh, is what you're experiencing. You're, you're spending the time with them to address the situation, where is the blockage, what, and then you have multiple remedies or, yes. to address it. Um, very custom-made remedies because right. all peoples are different. All right. people react differently. So, um, Do you see a lot of the common blockages in modern Western society, like money, anxiety, or is it unique from like a... It's unique from person to person. Uh, the only probably common blockages in many people is grief. When they lose someone or something, even job or a pet, this pattern is the same. But when people are coming to me and say, I think this is happening because my friend told me that this is what happened. People are so unique. We, you need to do evaluation. You need to figure out what has actually happened. Right. Um, well, since we're all in quarantine now and it's all a brand new overlay of stress, can you share some of your techniques or anything that we might be able to do from home? Yes. Uh, uh, one of the simplest techniques, how to deal with all the emotions we experience right now. And we all experience fear. The whole world is experiencing fear right now. 
anxiety, many people experience loneliness, is to use ancient Buddhist meditation. And meditation, they don't make you a Buddhist. It's just a tool for you. Right. Tonglen meditation helps you to accept the energies of emotions and use them, heal yourself, and kind of start functioning properly. Because when you block it, it's like a snowballing. Now you react to everything and anything, and you cannot function properly. Right. So in wisdom in meditation, I will suggest to do the following meditation. You just sit there and start breathing. And with each breath, imagine all the emotion you have right now about the situation in the world, about stay-at-home orders, about death, about pandemic. Acknowledge that you have fear, you have the sense of anxiety, you have loneliness. And with each breath, imagine that you're taking it in as a smoke. And it floats into you and you just play with it like innocence, like a child, how this emotion feels. And let your body, let your heart to transmute this emotion into energy of compassion. And when you do this, when you breathe into your belly, try not to breathe into your chest. Try to breathe into your belly to open up the diaphragm. And when you do this, magic happens. This energy is there for you to find the solution, not to be paralyzed, not to be panicky. So this is a very simple technique. Um, well, I like it because it's uh, taking control and I love the attitude of this. Exactly. We're always in control. Right. When we experience fear, we experience emotions. When we experience situations like this right now, we think that we are out of control, that control right. is somewhere. But we are always in control. I and like if, it. If you face that emotion and just look it in the face, you know, it's, it, it loses most of its scariness. You know? Yes, yeah. it is. Um, um, and then best of all, our, our new <laughs> therapy cat showed up. Um, yes. Um, well, she doesn't like to be in the picture for a very long time. <laughs> um, she, she made her cameo. Uh, well, yes, she is actually my manager, and she just wants to make sure that the recording goes uh, well. We're doing fine, manager. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, but what I also like about the uh, that meditation you just mentioned is the playfulness of it. You know, um, yeah. uh, being in quarantine for four weeks, I'm enjoying these memes that are going around. But some people are getting upset saying, well, that's not nice to joke around. And my theory is it's OK to joke around. It's one of, oh, the, yes. it's one of the most important tools we have unique to our species. So, you um, know, many, many years ago, when I just started my business, I ask one of very successful business owner, what is the secret of being in business and be successful business owner? Did I did you lose me? No, I'm saying share it, share it. Yes, of course. And she said, never be serious about yourself. So and actually it helps. If you I have found that if you can laugh at yourself. You'll never be too upset. There's always something no. about it. Yeah, um, so um, any other little tips or tricks that you might, um, I don't want to say tricks, techniques um, while we're in quarantine that you can share with us, Marina? You know, breathe. Even if you don't know how to meditate, breathing into the belly is very important because when we are stressed, we tend to tighten our diaphragm. Mm. And when we do this, our lungs don't receive enough oxygen. Just the most oxygenation goes in the lower parts, on the lower lobes of the lungs. So when you start breathing into your belly, physically, there is no oxygen over there. But just imagining it opens up the diaphragm and you're not just more oxygen is less stress. 
but also your exercise in your lungs. The disease that we are facing right now is cruel, mm -hmm. and it affects and attacks lungs in the most unimaginable way. So the more you exercise your lungs, you actually help yourself. If, God forbid, you get sick, at least you're giving yourself a little bit more chance. Right. Um, also, by breathing lower, it seems that my shoulders have to relax when I do it. Oh, you yes. Know, you, it, it, Mm -hmm. It's it's a detention where breathing up high is a makes sense. Yeah. Right? In our society, you know, you look at all the fashion magazines and everyone's belly is inside. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the very old experienced yoga teacher, their belly kind of flappy. It's not flappy, it's just opened up. So lungs can breathe. Mine's not flappy, it's just opened up. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Marina, uh, I'm sure you're quarantined. We're all social distancing. Are you working virtually? If anyone needs to reach out to you, how would we do that? Uh, yes, you can go on my website, uh, www.searchange.com and book a virtual session with me. And I will go through what bothers you and we will do distant Reiki. And we will do meditation specifically for this person's problems. Um, well, that's great. And I would like to reiterate that is one of the significant differences with local is that you have the time with your wellness professional to, to find and work on whatever it is that's blocking you on your emotion. Yeah, I also want to point out, I understand that many people lost their income so if you cannot pay me, I think we're in one boat right now. I'm fine with that. Just put it in a note saying, you know, I lost my job. I lost my business. Just kind of, we're helping each other, right? So I also recorded quite a few meditations oh. at the very beginning, and they're available for free on my website. If people, you know, sometimes people feel uncomfortable asking for free sessions. Right. Well, if you are not comfortable giving me free session, give me chicken, give me <laughs> eggs, oh. right? If you're a professional, probably we can exchange something. So it's if and people also, are comfortable, it's not always free. But there is a free meditation, right. and you can also work with me. And it's a and special situation. Tell your friends about Marina. She is a wonderful person. She is a healer. We're very lucky, Raleigh, right here to have Maria Lando right here in our backyard. Because everything. Thank you. Local wellness is here. Join us again, Marina. Thank you. We look forward to hoping you'll uh, visit with us again. And Thank in, you. In the it was a pleasure. Good work. Thank you.